Hey guys, it's your good sis Lisa Pats in the building and today we're going to talk about five things that have helped me become more focused. These are things that I found personally, they're very simple but really effective and as someone who gets distracted very 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 easily like my eyes be wandering my legs be shaking like i'm a very active person it's really important to have methods that work for you to get into your own zone because when you're in your zone whether it's a creative zone or whether it's your social zone or whether it's your sleep zone having ways to get into that mindset for yourself just makes your life easier before i give you my my secrets yeah, well, it's not really secret because it's about to go on YouTube. But before I give my secrets, please hit the like button and subscribe below. It really helps me out and I would love to share more content like this. But let's get straight into this. Number one is setting a time limit on my phone. So I have an iPhone and I have a time limit set up on it. So the time limit is from 12 midnight till 9 a.m. During these times when I click on the app, there's a pop-up on the phone which basically says, you know, you've set a time limit on here. Are you really sure you want to touch this app right now? Because you set a time limit for a reason, my dear. You do have the option of using the app still if you want to. So you can either use it for one minute, 15 minutes, or take off the time limit completely. What I really love about this is that it makes me think before I use these apps, having my phone not be as accessible during that time really helps me um and also getting up and getting ready in the morning if i'm on my phone is peak like i am not getting ready i am sitting on tiktok i'm sitting on youtube watching the shorts watching the videos and it's peak i will not get ready so that really helps me focus by like removing the distraction of my phone and i also have set up a block for instagram and tiktok i only have like 30 minutes of usage time on them per day so after that time period has passed, after I've used it for 30 minutes, then the app blocker will come up on there as well. So it's been super, super helpful in helping me be more focused on what I'm doing in the moment. So my second method to be more focused has been headphones. Now when I say headphones, I mean like over ear headphones, not like AirPods. Um, and also ones with noise cancelling in them. Now the noise cancelling in these headphones, I'm not even going to lie to you, it's not that great. These are the JBL, um, I'll link them down below the exact style that these are. When I put these on, they encase like my whole ear, like my whole ear is covered. So it gives this effect of, you know, noise cancelling. Because I've tried them and they're fantastic. The Apple um, AirPods Max, they are so good. Like literally you put them on, like you just put them on just to wear them and you literally feel like you're transported into a cave in space under the ocean, like all of them at once, because it literally just feels like you are enclosed in space. I would recommend those if you have that price range, but if not, just get in some regular regular headphones and blasting your music in them will work just as well. So the third thing that has helped me be more focused is changing my environment, especially like when working from home. If I stay inside all day, by the second half of the day, I am literally gnawing at the door trying to get out. I feel like I have to leave. I feel like I have to move. I feel like I have to do something because I just feel so, I feel so trapped. I just feel very, <sighs> but I found that going on a walk at lunch or even if it's just like going downstairs, going to another part of the house, um, has really helped me to be more focused, especially in those moments when I can feel I'm losing my focus it's really really helped me to regain the focus and get back into the back into the, the swing of things so the fourth thing that's helped me be more focused specifically i wrote don't bring tech in the bathroom but let's let's broaden it out because it's not just that i think what i meant there was like don't bring your phone or your ipad into the bathroom when you are using the toilet but also when you're like washing your face and stuff i find that it's actually extremely distracting to have a video playing while you're washing your face you don't even realize like what you're doing do you know what i mean like you're watching the video rather than watching your face which is what you're watching like why would you just wash your face duh lisa sorry this is me talking to me i'm not talking to you guys like that but i mean i'm kind of talking to you guys like that if you do that too what i mean by that is don't be so attached to your phone and your ipad i am guilty of this where i will walk around the house with either my phone or my ipad in my hand or my laptop in my hand playing a video playing a song playing a podcast and it's like, a, it's like it's attached to my hand. That is extremely distracting. It's extremely distracting. You're trying to cook while watching a, a whole TV show. You're trying to work while watching a whole Netflix series. You're trying to, 
you're trying to talk to your your family while also listening to music it doesn't work multitasking doesn't work it's not real it's a lie that we were told by somebody there is uh something beautiful in being extremely present and doing one thing at a time it's so so much easier and it is <laughs> you will be so much happier doing one thing at a time you also get to give that video your full attention rather than giving it your half attention while you're cooking you know and then you get to give your food the full attention that it deserves and i think there's like a beauty in that that we have what well, i have really struggled with because i just felt like i had to have a video playing at all times every moment of every day i have to have some kind of sound going but i don't silence is beautiful guys silence is so beautiful and then the last thing that's helped me be more focused and i might be being a bit of a hypocrite here because i haven't actually done this in a while but meditation i try to look at meditation as more of like a check-in on myself rather than like you know exercise is something that you do and it's like oh i have to go and exercise like oh i have to go to the gym and get to the gym and then i have to exercise i'll be like oh i have to meditate i have to set up the meditation and then meditate and find five minutes to meditate i think we should look at these things as things like like brushing our teeth you know you're not gonna well i hope i hope you're not gonna skip brush your teeth for one day because you know that when you compound those efforts your teeth will then be there when you're 80. i think it's the same with meditation it's the same with exercise i'm really trying to change my mindset about these things where it's like these are things that need to be done every day not because you have to do it but because you will regret not doing it in the future if all your teeth fall out you'll regret not brushing your teeth every day if in the future you have a really bad mental mindset you're gonna regret not meditating every day and i don't want to live a life where i'm gonna regret things in the future i really don't i am really working on creating a meditation habit um atomic habits is really helping me i'm trying to like habit stack right now and stack it with other habits that i have but yeah meditation is amazing for creating more focus it helps you to clear your mind and to gain clarity on what it is you truly want and what you actually want to focus on. When I was meditating consistently, like I meditated consistently for like two, three months. And then when I tell you, when I look back at that time in my life, when I was like consistent, like I said, every single day, I was on point. Like I would sit down to like think about a video idea or to do some, some work at the time I was in uni, to do uni work. And it was like, like I was unstoppable because the focus was there because I knew what I wanted to focus on. I knew exactly how I wanted to focus on it and what I wanted to focus on. And that's the beauty of meditation. Meditation really brings you back to yourself. As I said, I'm working on it, so we can work on it together, but it's definitely something that will help you focus, guys. Trust me. Well, no, don't trust me. Trust Jay Shetty, like. <laughs> But yeah guys that was the five things that helped me be more focused um, i really hope that you enjoyed this video you found something helpful from it please let me know in the comments if any of these work for you or if you have any other tips for anybody else let's create a really positive community in the comments and let's really share and just help each other because i know i need the help i don't know about y'all but i know i need the help help me please no but seriously sending love and blessings to all of you Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.